Today we're going to talk about the tennis forehand in its most basic form. Kirk, you want to demonstrate? Sure. Notice that Kirk is turning to his right. He's right-handed. If you were left-handed, you'd turn to the left with the racket slightly up and his arms showing balance and symmetry. Next, he's going to step towards the ball after it bounces once. He's going to let the racket drop below the level of the ball, keeping his eyes on the ball, coming up from underneath the ball, brushing up and over his opposite shoulder, and using, again, the left hand as a balancing agent. So again, Kirk, let's try that again. Here's the ready position. He turns to his right from the ready position, racket up, poised, cocked and ready to go under the ball. Step. Step. Turn. Brush. Over the left shoulder and nice and balanced when he's, when he's done. That's the tennis forehand. So the advantage of this follow through is you will learn early on to be able to hit the ball with some top spin. And that's a basic stroke in today's tennis, getting the ball to roll. Right. And a very important thing about the forehand is that there are various ways to bring the racket back. The, the best way and the way that 99% of the pros in the world today, both male and female, do it is they bring the racket up so they do a little loop. Go ahead, demonstrate, Kirk. There, notice that the racket is up. He's going to drop it in a looping fashion below the level of the ball with the face closed. This is a closed face. This is an open face. You want it closed. You brush up over the left shoulder and you've got the perfect forehand. We commonly hear players say, no, I want to take it back straight. So I don't have time to do this, Joe. But you do have time. You're already in the ready position with the racket up. Turn, step, stroke. A small loop is better than a big loop, but a loop is important. 